YouTube has helped to launch the music careers of artists like Justin Bieber. It is a similar story for a Lafayette, Louisiana college student whose friends posted a video of her singing a worship tune. In just a matter of months, she was in the recording studio with a music pioneer. A voice you won't soon forget is the focus of today's visit to Studio 5. Brianna Babineau goes simply by the name Brie. And while the Louisiana native is a new recording artist, she's been singing since she was just three years old. So you started three or four. When do you realize this may be something? Maybe last year. Oh, really? <laughs> it wasn't something... I don't know. It just wasn't something that was that I wanted to do. Mm. I knew I could, you know, I sung. I knew I could sing and things like that. But it wasn't. I didn't have a drive in me to want to do this like forever. It wasn't something on my list to do. Now, hearing your voice, people are going to say, "I can't believe she's saying that." Really? It's the truth. Yes. It wasn't something I wanted to do. I enjoy, I, I love singing, but it they had to make me sing. Basically, I had to be forced to sing forced to do it. So what happened that made you, because you obviously love it now because this, I love this is full-fledged. This is full-fledged, <laughs> yes. So. I love it now. Um, I guess growing up, you, you see how important it is as far as ministry-wise. Um, my father is a pastor, so at the age of 18, um, I got asked to be the praise and worship leader. So I had to fall in love with it. Um, it had, I had, people had to know that I loved doing what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I had to have, find the heart, have a heart to do it. So um, age 18, I, I, I gave it up. I said, you know what? If God, this is what you want me to do, then I'll do it. And so I've been rolling since. Wow. Been rolling since. Now, I guess we could call you the social media darling because it <laughs> seems like that's how it started. That's Tell me what I, happened. Okay, so <laughs> last year, um, around Christmas time, I was in this dark place in my life. Um, I was in depression state, um, backsliding state, really went after my own flesh, fleshly desires, you know, and um, I really needed God to do something for me in my life. I went to this women's conference that my church have every year, you know, just wanting God to change me, wanting him to just create a new thing, a new work in me. Well, my friends, we do this YPFC, Young People for Christ, and uh, we do these worship sessions where we just sing all night long, have fun and whatever like that. So they called me. It's like, hey, we're going to do a worship session. We want you to come. At first, I wasn't going to go. I was like, I really don't feel like being bothered with everyone. Just came back from the women's conference. Just want to let it soak all in. But I went anyway. A friend recorded her singing at that overnight meeting and posted it online. When I was singing this song, all the hurt, all the pain, things that I was feeling, I just began to release it in the song. And I began to say, God, you know, I want a brand new start. The video went viral with people responding from hundreds and thousands of miles away. And what did you think of that? People all over responding to your song? I cried. Mm. Um, because it was something it was heavy on me. What I was thinking about, it was, it was real heavy on me. And once I released it, I felt the weights being lifted. So just, you know, the place that I was in, you know, and it met somebody to touch someone, that really blessed me. Music executive Marquise Boone also saw the video and signed Bree to his record label. You are in college while all this is happening. <laughs> yes. Crazy, very crazy and hectic. Yes, in college, um, when it got good, I was in the middle of finals. I was like, oh, my God, ready to put my hair on my head. But, yes, so <laughs> I'm still in college. Mm -hmm. I'm a criminal justice major. Um, I'm a senior, so I'm excited about that. But, uh, I mean, it's crazy to juggle, you know, traveling, to juggle school, you know, church. I mean, it's, it's pretty tough. Are you still leading worship? And I'm still leading worship for my father. He won't, he won't let me stop. He won't let me, he said, you still got a job to do. With a music video and an album, it's been quite a busy year. But Bree did have to give up one thing, her athletic career. I had a scholarship, I ran track, um, full ride. Um, but I gave it up. You yeah. gave up a full ride to college a as a full, track star. How was I gonna do all of that? Running track, singing, that's too much. <laughs> uh -uh, it was one or the other, I couldn't do everything. But yeah, 
I, I gave it up. You have a powerful voice. Thank you. What would you describe your style as? I'm a worshiper. I'm a worshiper at heart. Um, when I sing, singing is, I refer to my singing as prayers. These are my prayers to God. So you just never know what may come out of my mouth. I may spill all my secrets or whatever when I'm singing, but that, that, those are my personal prayers to him. So I'm a worshiper. I'm a worshiper. Beautiful. Now, I know everybody asks you to sing. Yes. So I'm going to ask you to sing. No! <laughs> no! Okay. Just a little something to, 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 to send us off. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I lost everything and didn't have anything and you were the only thing I still have everything if I lost everything yeah and didn't have anything and you were the only thing God I still have everything honored thank Thank you you. (laughs) thank Thank you you. And Bree's album is set to be released in January. Now, at the same time, she's actually going to be headed back to school so she can graduate in May.